Uh, we are now in the belly of the beast, as you would say, a B-17. And this is the cockpit where you'd have a pilot, a co-pilot, machine gunner. You can see up in there, no insulation. See around in here. And of course, I'm sorry, that wasn't a pilot and a pilot. That was just where the machine gunning guys sit. And we'll swing back around, all aluminum and rivets. And but I'm going to swing up right behind you. This is where the bolts were stacked. Right. They came up out of here and fed into it. This is the oxygen he'd hook onto right there. Huh. I feel good to get right here. I'd like to be the guy standing here when they open the bomb bays. Hey, man, you can see how small this aircraft is in here. And this is where the turret gunner on the top of the plane guy would have stood. Right where I'm at. Give you a view of what he would see as he spun around here. And they still have, I'm sure they're duds, still in here, shells, bullets, oh, and the big racks. We'll swing around here. And here we go, here's where the pilot and co pilot set in this plane. Looking out the front, looking at the controls. And we'll walk back into the plane, stepping over here. And here's where we filmed earlier, the Bombay doors. You see some of the, the bombs sitting here, the dummy bombs. Now we're just walking through a little skinny ramp over the through the Bombay doors here above the Bombay doors back through step over a bulkhead here here would have been the navigator that would fall down like that and man would sit right there Maybe an extra pilot would have sat in here. You see where the navigator sat. His instrument panel. And out his window looking north to the Phoenix area. Back around here. And another machine gunner out the side here. Of course, these planes did bombing runs over Germany and oh, lots of other places during World War II. I'm sure they were in the European theater and the Japanese theater. Take another round the corner. I would imagine these are teak wood floors, so they would last a long time. And what you're looking now, I'll go down. And here's where the belly gunner would have rode inside the plane. And he got in from the bottom of the airplane, so he actually wasn't even flying with the crew. He was flying in the belly of the plane. 
And you'll see the machine gun turret. Somebody just went over putting a trail down. See the machine gun and the settings they would have had on it. A couple of seats for crew members here. You can see they're folded up. and We had similar seats to that in our C-130s and our squadrons in the Navy. I mean, they don't want us going back here, but here we'll take a where the tail gunner would have climbed back into there to his position in the tail of the aircraft. And there you go. A tour of this fabulous old warbird here. Here we are in Casa Grande, Arizona. And uh, one more shot from the back up to the front. Gave you some size or how small. Plenty looks huge on the outside, but it's really kind of tiny in this plane. So, as always, God bless and enjoy.